Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you guys how I made not just one, but two farmhouse style scales for your kitchen or any place in your home with Dollar Tree items. All those days trying to find a place, a place that you'll make and just be alone. Welcome back to Rhea's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Rhea and on my channel I love sharing all my ideas that I find helpful in my life and home and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscriber button before you leave this video and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're always notified on all the new videos that I put up. So today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created these beautiful farmhouse style scales for your home with Dollar Tree items. Now this idea I did not come up with. This was actually a DIYer who has a YouTube channel called J Money. She actually came up with the idea to create these farmhouse style scales. Now she made two different scales on her channel. One that was a larger one which is the one I kind of recreated and a smaller version. Now the smaller version one is very popular. A lot of people have been um, recreating and putting on YouTube and Instagram but I fell in love with the big version so I wanted to create one of my own actually I created two because I couldn't decide on the style that I wanted and I put my little spin on it so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I took her idea and put my little spin on it and created not one but two styles of farmhouse style scales for your home so before I show you guys how I created my scales, I wanted to show you guys this picture that I found online that was also the inspiration for the ones that I created. I was inspired by J Money when she made hers, but then I also looked online to see kind of the different designs that I could create, and this one caught my eye, and so this one was one, one of the ones I was trying to recreate when I made one of my scales. So the materials you'll need to create this scale is you're going to need first a small wood dollhouse table that you can find in the toy section. You're also going to be using a large um, plastic planter. You want to get the largest one that they have there for this DIY. And then the glue that I'm going to be using is of course that adhesive glue that I always use in a lot of my projects that's like E6000. Um, and you can find that in the craft section and you're just going to glue the table um, legs to the top of the planter. Now you can paint all this separate before you glue, but I was going to spray paint this because I wanted to use spray paint instead of um, craft paint this time. But if you're going to use craft paint, you can um, paint this before you attach them, but it's all up to you. So this is how the pieces look so far after I painted both of them. This one I painted it completely white to kind of have like a ray done kind of aged um, scale kind of vibe. This one is going to be with like a silver bowl which gives it more of like a high class I feel kind of scale. I couldn't decide on which styles I wanted so I, that's why I did too. I also took these party plates that I found in the party section at Dollar Tree. Um, they're clear as a pack of I believe 20 um, and then I painted one white and one black as well so that it could be the front of the scale um, where you see like the weight of being given and then I just looked online and found two scales that I like so that I can cut out the fronts of that scale. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the circle part of the scale and as you saw in the previous pictures there were two different, the way I printed them, I printed them in two different kind of color tones because I wanted the one that was white to look a little bit lighter and the one that was going to be black and silver to be a little bit more on the silver side. And you can do this by changing up the dimensions of the paper that you're using when you print. So as you can see here, the picture fits perfectly within the plate and it gives it like a little border which that's what I wanted. I wanted it to have like an outer border of it. Um, this part right here is optional but I'm going to do it because I'm going to have this in my kitchen. I did laminate the pictures so you can use a laminator if you have one. But if you don't have a laminator you can also just get contact paper which is also at Dollar Tree and laminate your paper that way as well. Now when it comes to gluing the actual um, image onto the paper plate, you can use any glue that you want but I wanted to use hot glue because I wanted it to be faster and quick. Um, but you got to be careful with um, the hot glue because sometimes it can create bumps if you put too much and you don't want to have bumps um, seen on the outside of the border of the, of the image.
To recreate the scale of the picture that I shared with you guys at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using this silver bowl that you can find in the wedding section at Dollar Tree. Mine looks kind of beat up because I've used it for other DIYs in the past. Um, but I'm going to be attaching it to the top of the base that I painted black. Now, as you can see, I just used hot glue to attach this because I wanted it to be kind of quick. But if you want, you can also use the E6000 to attach this, but I wanted like a quick drying time, so I just use hot glue. If it happens to where it falls off easily, then I'll go back in um, and use the E6000 for this, but it's really up to you what you want to use. Both will work fine. For the white scale, I was going for kind of like a Ray Dunn aged kind of weathered look for this style and so I took this black craft paint and I took these makeup sponges that Beth, Bargain Bethany talks about on her channel that she likes to use and I basically just started um, doing kind of like some black outlines on different parts of the bases. I didn't want to go too overboard but I just basically took the, the paint on the sponge and kind of you know just aligned it on the different out you know kind of out parts of the base now as you can see some of the paint starts to drip and before I even try to fix that I was like I kind of like how it looked because it makes it look more aged with the you know the black paint dripping so I kind of liked how the look was so I didn't fix it at all For the border of the plate I did the same technique and I actually kind of my hand slipped with these makeup brushes I have to say I was I didn't have the steadiest hands I told you guys that before I don't have the steadiest hands and my hand started slipping with this sponge so a lot of paint did like kind of get into the middle part and again before I decided to fix it I was like you know what I actually like how that looks because it looks like a weathered scale it looks like a scale has been aged it's been through some things so much farm you know it's so so like farmhouse where it's been through a lot and it's been dented, it's been chipped. So I kind of liked how it came out. My me my mess is actually turned into the style that I wanted. So you can do it however you want if you want to have crisp lines. But I kind of like how it looked kind of dripped with the paint and I kind of messed up because it made it look old and weathered. For the top of the white scale, I'm going to use this large plastic bowl. And I'm going to do the same technique on this bowl um, that I did with the paper plate and the base. I'm just going to take the black paint and go around the rim of it. I was thinking about putting some little dash marks on the bowl itself to the front to kind of make it look like it was chipped. But I wasn't sure if adding too much was too much because sometimes you can go too far um, so you guys let me know when you guys see the finished product you let me know if I should go back in and add like little black paint marks on the front of the bowl now when it comes to gluing the plate onto the base I do suggest that you use hot glue for this process because you want a glue that has a fast drying time so that the plate does not slip off the base The white scale came out just as I planned. It had a Ray Dunn kind of weathered old look to it. And I thought that the lemons and some eucalyptus leaves that I got from Dollar Tree and Walmart were the best to decorate this scale with. I just love how the yellow and the green goes against this black and white scale. It looks so beautiful, but you can decorate it with anything you like and all year round. The black and silver one came out just as good as I thought it would. It looks just like the one that I was trying to recreate, I think. And I like using the green apples for them for all year round to go with my everyday farmhouse decor. So I'm definitely going to keep the green apples when it comes to spring and summer because it goes with my everyday decor. But it can also go with the fall decor if you like to put in some of that green. But this would also look cute with the pumpkins for the fall as well. But what I'm going to do for Christmas time is I'm going to use the red apples for Christmas time to go with it because I think that this goes together with it as well but if you have a red theme in your kitchen you can use the red apples um, all year round in your kitchen you really can play up with anything that you want but I just love the way these scales came out I'm going to switch them out in the fall with some pumpkins I'm going to use these red ones for the Christmas time and I'm definitely going to just use them for all the holiday seasons 
So that is how I created these two farmhouse style scales for my home and I really love the way it came out. It actually came out better than what I had imagined in my head and you can recreate either or for $5 or less. So I should have actually made this in my $5 dollar tree DIY challenge video that I did last week because you really can make either or for $5 or less. But it makes a really big statement in your home and it looks so cute and you can't even tell that it's not one of those farmhouse style scales that you actually buy at the store that costs more money. So thank you Jay Money for giving us this idea on how to create not only the small version but the big versions. I loved it. I love the way that it came out and the fact that I made it for $5 or less, I love it even better because you guys know how I am on my channel. I love doing everything on a budget. So that is it for this DIY today but I do want to leave you guys with a question because like I told you guys I always want to start leaving my videos with the question so I can get to know you guys a little bit better. So I want to know what is your favorite DIYer on YouTube or your favorite DIYer on Instagram? Because I shared with you guys something that Jay Money inspired me to do. She is actually one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. She's very relatable. I feel like she's like me where we kind of like when we do our Dollar Tree Hauls we ramble but we like to tell a story with everything. But I love that about her because I'm the exact same way. So she is actually one of my favorite ones to watch right now. Um, so who is your favorite uh, DIYer on YouTube or Instagram to watch and why are you drawn to their channel and to them? Let me know in the comments down below your answers because I want to know who to watch next and I really want to get to know you guys a little bit better. And don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos like this. It really does help on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.